Are we on the air? What's up, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. Um, today we are uh, we're out in the backyard. We're finally getting stuff cleaned up from all the pool construction. You guys can see the pool's done. Um, unfortunately, it's too freaking cold to go in it. Um, this has been a nightmare for us dealing with this and getting moved out here, but we finally got a little pond to go into in the summer when it gets hot. Uh, we got this car all finished up. Uh, got the panels and everything on it. I still have to put the passenger panel on it, and I've got to go pick up a fuel pressure regulator. And do a I'm gonna drain all the fuel out of this thing as well. Uh, but that's not what we're working on today. Um, earlier in the week, I had a guy deliver a car to me that, uh, it's like an off-road buggy. It's an old sand rail. Looks like an like a old high jumper chassis or something. But uh, it's J-powered. It's this car here. So it had a J35 in it on Haltech, and I guess the Haltech took a crap. So um, he bought a harness from somebody online um, and this is what they sent him a modded factory harness kind of like what I do but this thing's friggin filthy not retaped not reloomed just a bunch of old electrical tape usually I remove all the junctions and no relays no nothing um, so I'm gonna go through this a little bit and clean it up they couldn't get the car to run um, that's kind of why it's here for me when this thing had Haltech on it, they had GM sensors in here. So right here, they had a GM sensor for the intake air temp, and they had one down there in the water neck for uh, the coolant temp. Unfortunately, the Honda sensors won't fit back in there now. So I went over to the uh, shop, over to San Lamo, and I've got a bunch of spare Honda parts over there. And we picked up a new, let me walk over here to the garage. We picked up a new end tank for the intake. So it's got the right threads in it for that. And we picked up a new water neck, new use. So I've got a couple holes I've got to weld up shut or cap off, but it's got the right threads in it for, for what we need to do. So we're going to jump into swapping this water neck and uh, getting that wiring finished up on that car. See if we can't make this thing run today. And then uh, that way the guy can pick it up on Monday. Get this thing done and out of here. And then uh, next weekend I'll be heading back out to Glamis and I'll be taking... Uh, I don't know what to call this car. You guys help me out with a name. Um, originally it was gonna be like Purple Love or I, <laughs> I don't know, cause he had bought those purple wheels for it. But uh, maybe Raider Nation, who knows? I don't know, it's black and silver with purple. So I don't know what to name it. it is what it is. But uh, it used to have that big no fear thing on the back, so. I don't know. We'll see. We'll pick a name for this thing. You guys drop a comment down below and see if we can't pick a good name for this car or something to call it while we still have it. So the Haltech uses an internal map sensor. That's why they had this big vacuum line running all the way up. They had the Haltech stuffed up here in the uh, in the trunk wing-ish area, I guess you could call it. But yeah, we're going to get rid of all that and uh, probably stuff everything underneath the seat. Uh, I don't know. Can we get the ECU up in there? I don't know. We'll take that apart and have a look and see if uh, see if there's something we can't do. So we opened up the trunk wing and come to find out that's where all the electronics are. Relays, ECU harness, fuse box, another fuse box. So we're going to get all this torn out of here um, and see if we can squeeze the Honda ECU in here. I'm not sure if we're going to be able to squeeze a stock one in there, but uh, we're going to give it a whirl here. All right, so where we're at now is uh, I've got everything pretty much, all the Haltech stuff weeded out of here. And by Haltech, I mean this was an old Haltech. Uh, it ran on MS-DOS. So uh, really, really old setup. Um, so here's the uh, Honda to Haltech harness that someone sort of hacked together. But anyhow, we got all that ripped out. We're going to get this OEM harness laid up in here. Um, there's already relays up there, so we're going to use them. And then I'm hoping that we can uh, squeeze that factory Honda ECU up in that wing. That'll make this really easy for me. Um, I can get everything hooked up. There's a few other things I got to change. Um, the cam sensor and the crank sensor were changed for Haltech. 
Um, I've got OEM ones to go in there. And then uh, I think I said this before, but the Haltech used the OEM map sensor or a uh, internal map sensor. I need to unplug this and get a map sensor put in this throttle body. So uh, we're going to work on that. And what they do to the IAC? Oh, they JB welded the idle air control valve. So we may need to just replace this throttle body, guys. Well, maybe we'll go to the junkyard and pick one up. All right, so I've gutted out the rest of the wiring that I'm not going to need. And as you can see, I started uh, laying back in what I'm going to need. I've got room for the ECU. I took all those relays out over there. Uh, we're not going to need those where we're going. And I added two new relays way over here in the corner. Uh, one for the fan and one for the fuel pump. So that's all we're going to really need on this car since it's uh, pretty basic. Uh, you know, no gauges, no nothing, just an on-off switch. Um, so I think that's all we're going to need. So next we're going to uh, finish cleaning up this wiring. And then we're going to get the uh, Honda harness laid in there. And see if we can't squeeze all this uh, squeeze all this into that little box up there. So I was going to move it all and put it behind the seat. But all the power and everything was already ran up there. There was already a fuse box mounted. So we're going to go ahead and try to just use what he already had. Saves the customer some money and uh, saves me some time. As you guys can see by my big mess on top of the car here, uh, we're starting to do some wiring. Uh, I put two relays in over here like I showed you earlier. Got rid of the relays in the middle. We're going to get the fans wired up, the fuel pump wired up. We got the ECU set down in there. I might have to trim the feet off of this to get this cover back on. Um, but it looks like it's all going to fit up in there. And then we'll, uh, we'll loom this up nice and clean all this up. I'm sure it looks a lot nicer than it did. Um, we'll get all that fixed up and then uh, it's on to the motor stuff. So it looks like the wiring is going to be pretty easy on this one for me. And uh, yeah, we'll uh, get this thing fired up. All right, well, I got everything stuffed into the box. Got it all wired up. Uh, added a third relay for the ignition. So we got one for fuel, one for fan, one for ignition. I always like to add an ignition relay since you're using a, using a switch feed to feed the ECU the relays and all the accessories on the motor like the coil packs and the injectors so it's always good to use a relay uh, we put it right here to this big power cable on this 20 amp fuse and uh yeah guys looks like uh we're just about wrapped up on the top here and then uh like i said we've got to go down here and switch out these water necks get the fan switch and everything hooked up so we're going to do that next um also this had a gm sensor in it as well and I went over to the shop and I picked one of those up. So uh, we're going to get this swapped out. We'll get as far as we can today. And then uh, we'll try to wrap this up by tomorrow so he can pick this car up on Monday. All right, guys. So I got everything wrapped up in here. I think I showed you that earlier. Everything's wired. Uh, fuel pump comes on with the ignition switch. I got power to the injectors and everything. Um, looks like this lid's going to fit back on there once I get the ECU secured. And like I said earlier, we'll loom all this up. But... Um, quick half a day of wiring man and this thing's ready to go um i've got to go to the junkyard tomorrow and pick up a throttle body um normally i would just throw a map sensor in here but they jb welded the idle air control valve shut i don't know if you guys can see that or not um so i'll just go ahead and pick up a whole nother throttle body and that way that issue's done and then i've got to change the crank sensor and the cam sensor that cam sensor it's got a weird late model cam sensor in it you can see the bolts are different. So somebody's been in there and changed it out. I have all the stock stuff to put back in it. So we're going to jump on that tomorrow, and then we'll get this thing fired up and running and uh, get it ready for the customer. So uh, we'll see you guys again tomorrow. So it is the next day. We are uh, out here at the junkyard. Found us a uh, Honda Odyssey, and we're going to pull this throttle body off. And this is exactly what we need for that car. So we're going to go ahead and get to it and uh, get checked out and get the heck out of here. So that's all we need today. So we're just gonna grab that and run. Just like that, we got our throttle body out. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and pay for this. Get on out of here and uh, go get this installed on the buggy. All right, guys, we're back at the house. Uh, back over at the car, we're gonna get this throttle body taken off get the new one put on and uh i also went and got an adapter so this had some gm sensors in it for that hall tech for the coolant temp it also had one here for the uh air intake so i just swapped this end cap and then um i was going to swap the water neck but this thing's full of coolant it's going to make a big mess i went to the hardware store and i found an adapter to go in there 
so I can get the OEM Honda sensor in there. So that'll be all worked out and then we'll move on to the crank and cam gears and this thing will be ready to fire up. So we got the throttle body on, um, got it all wired up, got the uh, throttle linkage hooked back up the way they had it. Everything works. I got an IAC valve in here, map sensor plugged in, and I got the coolant temp sensor in the motor there with the adapter, lots of Teflon and uh, should be good to go. Now I'm starting to break into the timing cover here and that's actually a really good thing that I did. Um, that crank pulley came off with that little gun. That's a little Harbor Freight gun that's like two and a half years old and has literally no power left. I just kind of use it for putting bolts on and off and then I kind of torque them by hand, but that crank pulley bolt came right off with that little gun. So it's a good thing I took that off. Um, we're gonna take the timing cover off. I don't think they made any changes to the crank, um, but I can see that they drilled out all of the spots on this for the factory Honda pickup. And then they put a nut and a bolt in here. And basically what that is, is it's just using that as a, uh, for the magnet to pick up on. And there's a single sensor in there. So we need to get this upper uh, timing cover off, or get the lower timing cover off and then get the timing belt off, get the cam gear off, and then uh, get this off and see what kind of sensors in there and what they got going on. We're gonna convert this back to a 02 to 05 style uh, cam sensor. So that way this thing runs like a top. So I got the timing cover off and it looks like they did modify the factory cam gear. They, it looks like they made it a one, two, three. Looks like they converted it to a six minus one or six minus two. Well, I'm not sure what they did here, but they're still using the OEM sensor, which is good. Um, it is really filthy and greasy in here, so it'll give me an opportunity to get this apart, uh, get this all cleaned up. Um, over at the shop where my toolbox is, <laughs> the outdoor shop, I have one of these in my toolbox. So I'm going to run over there and pick that up. And then I also believe that I've got uh, another backing plate with a, a different cam gear and everything over there as well. So uh, we'll get that all worked out and then uh, we can jump back on this thing and get it fired up. After about an hour and a half of running around getting parts, I got the uh, crank gear I needed. You can see that how they modified it. See the teeth, the difference in the teeth. That looks like they may have like welded on that one. I don't know what they did anyways. And then I got a OEM cam gear. Um, I went ahead and grabbed my impact, my uh, trusty snap on and took this cam gear off. Yeah, see they made, they just made like a, a metal thing that stuck out. So it would go by and grab that pickup. But like I said, that is the wrong pickup. Um, so we're gonna pull this backing plate off now. And then uh, we stopped over by the local uh, auto parts store. We picked up a brand new cam sensor set and we're gonna get that put in and we'll get this thing running today. Okay, we, so we got that cam sensor taken out. We got the OEM cam, cam sensors put back in. Uh, we're going to go ahead and put the backing plate back up there and uh, put the cam gear on and button this thing up. We've got our crank gear on, got the cam gear on, uh, crank sensor back in. The new cam sensors are here. They're going to plug in right there like so. Let me just plug that in so I don't forget. All right, those, those are plugged in. Sorry about that, guys. My phone was ringing. Uh, we got it timed, so... To time a J-Series, there's a little notch right there by my thumb. I don't know if you guys can see that. There's a little mark on the, just above that tooth. And then there's an arrow right here on the oil pump. You want that to stay there. And then there's a white mark here, or blue, I think somebody's marked it. And that lines up with the timing cover there. And there's a hash mark on the cam gear there. And it marks up with the top of the uh, backing plate there. So this thing's all done. It's timed. I got the tensioner back in and set. I'm going to go ahead and put the plastic back on, get the crank pulley on this thing, and uh, we're going to try to fire this thing up, guys. Right, so we got everything hooked up, got the engine ground on, got the whole timing cover back together, crank pulley on. We're going to go ahead and uh, kick this thing over, see if we can't get her to start. And there she is, boys. Let's see what happens. Oh, there we go. 
couple vacuum leaks. Got those all uh, capped up and uh, I'm gonna fire this thing up again. All right, that's what I like to hear. to it but uh looks like we'll have another happy customer we're gonna let it run wait for the thermostat to open let the fans come on and uh yeah man this thing's all done this guy will be stoked all right well, she's been running for about i don't know 10 minutes now still got some bubbles coming out of the radiator up there I wish the fuel cell wasn't in the way I'd put my bleeder on there, but um, yeah, it seems to idle pretty smooth, revs up good. Seems to run like a top, so uh, this guy will be happy. Um, I got a few more things to button up with the wiring here, get all this tied together, and uh, get this coolant system bled. And uh, yep, I think the thermostat's opening now. So we're just about there, and uh, this will be another happy J35 guy out in the desert well this one's all buttoned up and done not buttoned up but anyways i gotta put uh put some stuff back in here clean up all these parts and uh this guy will be ready to pick his car up tomorrow uh cool the system bled out no problem uh fans came on so uh we're good to go we're gonna get this thing uh all buttoned up and finished and cleaned up and call it a day it's like every car i do i gotta give it a little test trip around the block so uh sounds like it's got some fuel in it we're gonna uh, hop in this thing and take around the block and run through the gears, make sure she's good. Oh, man, this is a little car. Or I'm just a big dude. <laughs> All right, let's reach under here, fire this thing up. the reverse so that's good all right we're gonna back her out here and then uh, we'll get back to you I forgot the owner told me to be careful there's no brakes in this thing so we're just gonna take it easy and run through the gears gears everything shifted good car felt smooth motor runs good so uh we're gonna shut this thing down bolt the intake on and this one will be done so like i said this one's all wrapped up ready for the customer uh we're gonna move on to uh that one out there we're going to put the uh, last side panel on and uh get the paddle tires put on it this car's coming out to glamis with me this weekend oh that's so cool and uh We'll give this thing some test rides and uh, get her up for sale. All right, guys, so that's a wrap on today's video. Um, I got that J35 car finished up and driving, and then we finished up on the uh, on the purple car here. Got the other side panel put on. I know you guys probably can't see that that well because it's starting to get dark. But anyhow, the side panel's on. Got the paddle tires in the back. Uh, we're going to get this thing outside tomorrow, take some good photos of it for a good for sale ad. So once again, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you give us a thumbs up, a like, and a subscribe, and hit that notification bell. That way you know when our new videos come out. And we will see you guys in the next one.